My name is Yuki Kaisuke. I'm a freshman at Nanakuma College. I thought that being a college student was gonna be easy, but it was a lot harder than I had imagined. I have so many mechanics classes and physical experiments that I need to do. Meow. Huh? Sounds like a cat is nearby. I think the sound came from that park. Oh no, you're so dirty! Meow. Huh? Uh, there's a letter in the box too. This cat was abandoned underneath the bridge. I want to take care of her, but I can't. I hope some kind soul can save her and take care of her. Alongside the letter was a hundred dollar bill. I guess it's some money to take care of the cat? I'd imagine some people would just take the money and not save the cat. The person that set this up must be really kind. I recall that my apartment block allowed pets. However, if I decided to take this cat in, I'd have to take responsibility and provide a good living condition for her. I can't just take her in because I think she's cute. I'm busy enough with college life right now. I wonder if I'm really going to be able to take care of her. I was really unsure about what to do. I stared at the cat and it looked back at me with an equally anxious gaze. I had made up my mind. You want to come with me then? Meow. It was as if she understood what I was saying. There was no way I could leave her behind. I'll do my best to take care of ya. I guess I need to start by seeing if she needs any vaccines. Um, I found her abandoned at a nearby park, and I want to take her in. Could you do a health checkup for her? Yes, of course. Would you be able to start off by filling in this form, then? Of course. Name of the pet. Uh, I still haven't decided. Uh, she looks just like the Coco, the cat we had when I was young. How's Coco? Oh, seems like you like the name. Coco, what is that? So, she doesn't have any lice or parasites. She is a little weakened, though. I'm sure she'll recover as soon as you give her some cat milk and food. Oh, thank you so much. Most people that pick up a cat like this don't take them to the vet first. You did a great job. My grandpa was actually a vet, too. And he always told me that people that pick up animals and bring them home have to take responsibility for them. I see. You're very lucky to be picked up by him then. Meow. Well then, let us know if any troubles come up then. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, there's a pet shop next door. I guess I'll buy some things here. Let's see. I need to go get some cat milk and cat food. I also need to buy a toilet and some sand. Also a cage, too. Meow. Damn it, I bought too much. I can't carry all this, it's too heavy. Um, I can help you out. Uh, it's okay. Please, let me help you out. Um, then... Would you be able to help me carry this cardboard box with a cat inside? Sure. Meow. You really saved me. Thank you so much. I should be the one saying thank you. Huh? She was kind of weird, but very kind. Here you go. Some cat food and some cat milk. Meow. The vet was saying that she's about a month old. There's no way she could have survived by herself. I can't believe someone would abandon a cat so young. So irresponsible. Meow! Make sure you eat a lot and grow! Anyway, Coco, I'm gonna go finish off some college work. Oof, I'm exhausted. Meow! Coco, you wanna sleep here? Meow! Let's sleep then. You're so warm and cuddly. So warm. Oh, yeah, it's Coco. Huh? But it doesn't really feel like Coco. Good morning. Meow. Huh? A cat? 
I'm Coco, meow. Oh, out of here, Willy Coco. I told you to grow, but I didn't expect you to turn into a human. Meow. Wait, what? Uh, Coco is over here. Yeah, that's right. There's no way a cat turns into a human. Then that means... Whoa, who the hell are you? Where were you in my bed? I came here to repay you for taking this cat in. What? Thanks so much for rescuing this cat from the park. I was watching. My name is Nico da Coco. I'm a freshman attending Nanakuma College. Meow. What? There's a little kitty abandoned in the middle of nowhere. I want to take care of her, but my apartment doesn't allow pets. If you're left here, nobody is going to find you. Let's move you somewhere where people can find you. Meow. Little kitty, I'm praying that someone kind decides to take you in. Meow. I'm kind of worried, so I'll write a letter. Okay, this should be enough. Goodbye, then. Meow. You're right. Leaving you here is partially my responsibility. I guess I'll put some money inside the letter to help out. How, however, someone might just take the money and run away. Two hours later. Some people came to take a look at the kitty, but no one has decided to take her home. Oh no, you're so dirty. Please take the poor kitty home. Meow. Huh? There's a letter in the box too. I hope that my feelings reach him. I'd imagine some people would just take the money and not save the cat. The person that set this up must be really kind. What should I do? I think I'm gonna fall in love with him. If I decided to take this cat in, I'd have to take responsibility and provide a good living condition for her. I can't just take her in because I think she's cute. He's basically a god! You wanna come with me then? He's such an amazing person! Meow! I was just meant to keep watch so that the kitty was taken in by someone. However, I ended up... He's taking her to a vet! What a great person! Now he's buying things for the kitty! I want to choose with him! Whoa! He's bought so much! He must really be caring! It looks like he's struggling to hold all of the luggage. Um, I can help you out. Uh, it's okay. Please let me help you out! Um, then would you be able to help me carry this cardboard box with the cat inside? Sure! Meow! Little kitty, you were picked up by such a wonderful person. This is the first time I've seen him up close. His face is so handsome. My heart is beating so fast. You really saved me. Thanks so much. I should be the one saying thank you. My heart is beating too fast. I can't take it anymore. What? Little kitty, you're going to be living with that guy from now on. I'm jealous. I wonder what they're doing right now. I wonder if it's okay to go take a peek. Oh no, I came here. Huh? The door is open. Excuse me. Is there nobody home? Oh, hello kitty. Is your owner here? Meow. What? He's sleeping. Of course he is. It's so late at night. Oh, his shirt is here. I've always wanted to wear my partner's shirt in the future. I'm sorry. Please let me make my dream come true. It's oversized for me. <laughs> Coco. What? 
Why does he know my name? Coco, come here. Uh, okay then. Wait, what the hell am I doing? This is basically a crime, right? So creepy! I'm so sorry. Hey, don't run away. What? He's embracing me! I knew it. He probably mistook me for his cat. However... Just a little more. I want to stay here just a little longer. The next morning. Huh? Wait. This isn't my room. Huh? It's so warm. Oh, it's Coco! What should I do? He's waking up! I guess I'll just have to pretend I'm a cat. Good morning! Meow! Huh? A cat? It is pretty much what happened. Um, go ahead! What? You're gonna take me to the police, right? I'm already prepared to be punished. But wait, I don't have any intention of doing that. Wh why though? Well, I did. Something's wrong too. I didn't mean to, but I did accidentally embrace you too. Well, I was so happy when you did that. Um, also, you're the one that took Coco to the park, and I was able to find her. Yes, thank you for taking her in. Um, is your name Coco too? It's nice to meet you. My name is Coco, and I'm a freshman attending Nanakuma College. Wait, really? I'm a freshman at Nanakuma College, too. My name is Yuki Kaisuke. Wait, really? My major is childhood education, and I want to become a kindergarten teacher. My major is mechanics, so we have classes in separate buildings. That's why we didn't recognize each other. I see. However, I feel a lot closer to you now that I know we attend the same college. Yeah, I feel closer to you too. I'm sorry for intruding into your house like this, but could we be friends? Of course we can. You too, Coco. Meow. From then on, Coco. Hello, I brought some food for Coco. Came over pretty often to meet Coco. <laughs> Thanks as always. You're always taking care of her, so this is the least I can do. Coco, you're so lucky. Uh. uh what's the matter, Coco? I know that you're talking to me, but my heart starts beating when you call my name like that. My bad. No, don't apologize. You haven't done anything wrong. I'm sorry for saying something weird like that. The way we met was very weird, but Coco was very friendly and cute. I could feel myself starting to get attracted to her. However, the way we met was weird, and she's being very obvious about her feelings towards me, so I don't know when to tell her my feelings for her. One day, I was heading to the college dining hall when I saw a crowd of guys talking. Uh, isn't that girl really cute? Whoa, she really is so cute! Maybe I'll go talk to her! I overheard their conversation and looked towards the girl they were talking about. Wait, what? Coco? What is she doing on this campus? While I was thinking that, one of the guys approached her. Ah, oh, you're so cute! Wanna go somewhere with me after classes today? I'm sorry, but I have somewhere to go after classes today. Where are you going? Could I come too? He's being really persistent. What are you doing to my girlfriend? No, because I already have someone that I have feelings for. Wait, what? Kisuke, did you just say girlfriend? Yeah, I did say that. Coco, could you come with me? Yeah, okay. 
I realize that I really like you, Coco, as I spend more and more time with you. Um, you mean the cat, Coco, right? I mean the human, Coco. I've fallen in love with you, Nakoto Coco. No way! I'm a creep, though! <laughs> I like everything about you, even your crazy side. I fell in love with you on the day I met you. I fell more and more in love with you the longer I spent time with you. I actually came to this campus today so that I could spend time with you. Thank you. I love you, Kisuke. I love you too, Coco. I saved a poor cat, and the very next day, she turned into a beautiful girl. Or at least I thought she was actually called Coco, and she'd followed the cat Coco to my room and she cared about her so much. Her actions were a little crazy, but she was very kind. I hope that we have a... I hope that we have a happy future together. Meow! Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye!